In this video, I'll show you how to embed external content into your lessons pages. This video will show you how to embed an image, an audio or a podcast, a video, a YouTube video, and a website link into your lessons pages. To add an image into your lessons pages, click on the plus sign where you want to add the image. Click on embed content on page. You can either upload a file Select an existing file from resources or add a file via URL. I'm going to upload a file here, so I'll click on choose files. Choose my photo and click open. And click on save. And I can see that image is in there. If you click on the edit button to the right of the image, you can specify a width and a height, the alt text, the alt text is the alternative text that if somebody can't see an image, a screen reader will tell them what it is. So I'll add in an alt text here. You should always do this for accessibility. And you can also add in a description if you like here as well. Click on save. And I can see the images there. You can add an audio or a podcast file to your lessons pages. There are two different ways to do this. First, you can embed it into the page so a student can listen to it there, there and then and download it, or you can add it as a link for the students to download. I'll show you both ways. First, to embed it into the page, click on the plus sign where you'd like the podcast to go. Click on embed content on page. Here, you can either upload a file, you can select a file from resources, or if you've already uploaded it somewhere else, you can add in the URL of the file. I'm going to upload the file here. So click on Choose Files, navigate to the podcast and click Open, and click on Save. So now you can see that the podcast has automatically been put into the page here. So I can click play here to play it, or I can click on the dots here to download it. And you will find the podcast actually automatically download whenever you go into the page. So a student doesn't have to download it. The second way to add a podcast is to add it in as a link. To do this, click on the plus sign where you want the podcast to go. Click on add content links. Here again, you can either upload the file, choose some resources or add a URL. I'm going to choose it from resources because I've already uploaded it. So click on select existing files and resources. Navigate to the file. You can see the podcast. Now, if I click here, it's just going to download the podcast. So you actually have to click on select to the right of the podcast. And click on continue. And now you can see our two podcasts here. The first one is embedded in and the second one is added as a link and students can download both. And as you can see, the podcast is actually automatically downloaded for me here as well. There are two ways to embed video into your lessons pages. You can either upload the video yourself or you can add in a YouTube link. Both will embed the video actually into the page itself so a student can watch the video within the lessons page. First, I'll show you how to upload a video. To do this, click on the plus sign where you'd like the video to go. Click on embed content on page. Here you can choose a file, select from resources or add in the URL. I'm going to choose a file. Navigate to my video and click open. And click on save. Now you can see the video has been added into the page and a student can either click here to play it within the site itself or click here to download it. The second way to add a video in is to add it in from a URL such as a YouTube link. To do this, go to the site where you have the video uploaded. For example, here I'm in YouTube. If I click on share, I can copy the URL here by clicking on this button and go back to my lessons page. 
to add the video in, click on the plus button where you want the video to go. Click on embed content on page. And here, paste the URL in that you just copied and click on save. And if I scroll down, you can see that that second video has been added in here. You can add in any website link into your lessons page. For example, I'd like to link to this ebook. So I'm going to go to the ebook, copy the URL, go back to my lessons page, and find where I want to add it in, and then click the plus sign. Click on add content links and paste the URL in here. Click on save. And now you can see the URL has been added in here. Now it doesn't look very attractive, so what I can do is click on the edit button next to it. And here you can see the item name, I can change that to something more readable. And you can also add in a description here for your students. Scroll down and click on update item. And I can see that that link has been added in here. This video has shown you how to embed images, audio, video and links into your lessons page. It's a great way to put all the content together for your students to find.